Hi and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, which was September the 23rd, um, we went to the Lincoln um, Motorhome Show uh, put on by Warners, which is not a um, paid promotion or anything like that. It's just they're the ones that put it on. So, um, we were trotting our way through and came across a big surprise for us which was um, Swift had a big surprise um, by Camper UK um, with a new motorhome uh, now it was jam-packed, absolutely jam-packed at Camper UK. There were people crawling all over it. Um, so, I could only sort of do snippets of it, but um, I think a lot of you will be surprised at uh, what you see uh, in the video. Um, and a quick update, um, Julie has finished her first um, bout of treatment, um, radiotherapy and oral chemo for five weeks, um, should have been six but they, they rescheduled it for five weeks so that seems to have uh, worked for what it was intended um, so then she has to wait eight weeks and uh, from there we will find out when she has uh, MRI and um, scan um, to see what further treatment may be required whether it's robotic operation um, rather than being sliced open um, that's what they seem to do they seem to use a robotic probe um, to remove any of the um, offending dead cancers so uh, she'll have loads of blood tests before the scan um, so hopefully that will not affect our um, trip to the NEC um, which we're really looking forward to um, you'll see a um, vlog next week um, we're trying something new um, and that'll be a surprise so uh, yeah we're uh, just trying something new on a um, caravan and motorhome club site just to uh, we thought, hmm, there's lots of these at the sites, let's see what they're like. So that'll be one coming up. So see what you think of this new Swift. See you in a bit. Hi, so we start in the uh, rear of the motorhome this time, the garage, a nice space for some storage, two coat hooks for wet clothing and such. Moving down, we've got um, 230 volt, 12 volt and USBs, a tyre changing kit, a nice big uh, space for, for a garage with um, four tie down points. There's your two lay bike rack attachments and a reversing camera, high level brake light, lovely um, rear end, and you've just got a glimpse there. It's a Voyager 584 with um, LED rear lights, and there you've got your water input, your 
Truma heater exhaust and another graphic 584. There's your cabinet for your two 6kg LPG bottles and your mains input. Uh, nice graphics on the side of the van. This van is um, 7.85 meters long, so it is quite a long vehicle. Four berths, four seat belts with the under seat travel um, seats, alloy wheels, a grey um, um, cab. Uh, and you got a glimpse there, might have been a giveaway. Nine, sixty-nine thousand two hundred, and it is a Ford. A Ford. Swift have gone on to a Ford chassis. Well, I never. I thought they were just feared. But there you go, two captain swivelling seats, and. Two lights on stalks there, one either side behind the driver and the passengers. Um, curtains instead of uh, decorative boards. Um, yeah, there on the seat you've got Voyager into it. 230 volt socket either side. Um, nice cupboards, a shelf right the way round the cab, and another cupboard there. Um, like map and such in the second um, cubby hole. There you've got a nine inch um, display, steering controls, manual air conditioning, and this one is a uh, six speed um, automatic gearbox. It's got uh, USBs in the front of the cab as well. Nice window. It has also got an electric uh, raise and lower table. A triple a Thetford triple X um, cooker with three burner hob and electric. There's got a cupboard underneath the sink um, with a cutlery drawer the extra door to give you that ease of access into that large cupboard under the um, sink. There's your table controls. Here's your left hand cupboard um, with the plate rack in. Quite a tall cupboard. Now this one is where on um, the escape, the microwave is, and I believe that if it's a factory order, you can have a microwave put in there. But I'm sure that a dealer may be able to do that. Uh, the cupboard that I forgot to lift the camera up for is a small um, non height. There's your right hand cupboard with the mugs. And there is a socket above there where you can plug in your microwave if needed, if you wanted to uh, try it yourself. There you've got a Dometic Series 10 133 litre uh, fridge, dual opening and a removable uh, freezer box. There's a cupboard underneath, pull out. Quite a good bit of storage there. Same on the other side, just below the cooker. Uh, another one, pans and such like that. And below that you've got the um, vent for the uh, heating. Uh, cupboards left and right uh, above the sink. Shower, nice size shower, but the wheel arch does ingress quite a bit into it. But other than that, lovely. Um, no overhead lockers, so no waking up in the middle of the night banging your head. Uh, they are two side drawers uh, as well as 
some of the storage is taken up with the heater but there uh, to the right um, you've got a cupboard that pulls out either side of just above this um, flat shoes there's another heat vent Truma blown air heating there quite a bit of storage underneath and a pull out uh, coat rail um, so that you, you're not having to reach too far in you just pull your hanging stuff out uh, up there you have a mains 230 uh, uh, USB and a light switch um, yeah it has got neck curtains some people may not like that um, there is a space or a socket for um, TV and such there so there is your um, dealer information it is uh, whether it's a automatic or mains uh, manual it's still through hi welcome back yes um, it was very 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 busy uh, I only got about uh, three or four minutes actually in the uh, motorhome um, I had to do a voiceover because there were people shout well not shouting but loudly speaking um, even though the guy gave me five minutes um, the audio was not, not um, user, user friendly at all so I did a voiceover um, things that sort of were missing well, it's got a nine inch display um, with um, Android and uh, Apple CarPlay uh, manual air conditioning various USB and 12 volt sockets in the front of the vehicle uh, drinking pockets very good um, storage just above the driver and the um, passenger uh, for things like maps and such uh, which is a standard Ford thing um, there is a central door which uh, isolates the bathroom shower there's a door at the front and there's a, uh, two sliding doors which um, isolate the rear as well uh, the garage is very big um, it's got four tie down points uh, plus your power and it is heated um, unlike the uh, escape and the high style ones which we showed you uh, the base of the bed uh, hasn't got the cutouts because I don't think there's as much stuff in so you actually um, get to fully isolate the uh, garage from the sleeping area um, overall impression um, yes you can tell it's a little bit cheaper um, but for a family um, and even a couple that likes the Ford chassis um, uh, Bob Earnshaw and Jenny Earnshaw had the Ford chassis on their 75 for I that they um, were loaned by Bailey uh, and they were quite happy with that um, it comes in uh, four guises uh, th this um, 500 series it comes with as the 640 with um, either a drop down bed or that and a, 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 a sleep uh, using the two side seats then you've got a, a, six, a 564 
which is uh, like a French bed um, style. Then you've got the 584, which is um, the one that we've seen that comes as a manual, um, six speed manual or automatic gearbox. Um, the next one is the 594, that is an island bed. Um, from what I have seen, I've not actually seen it, but I'm led to believe that that will be a fixed island bed, um, much like the one that the escape has gone to uh, because of the weight. Um, or the good payload on these uh, um, 584, 594s. You're looking at approximately 350 kilograms um, on a three and a half ton chassis. So it is quite a good vehicle um, for B licensed drivers. Um, good payload, um, stacks of headspace. Um, there's not much chance of banging your head. No cub. Um, cupboards above the sleeping compartment um, so again that's um, negating banging your head the only upgrade that I would do is probably put in some down lighters um, dimmable replacing the two um, cupboard mounted uh, down lighters that are in the sleeping area um, loads of USBs um, that's probably the only thing that I could see straight away then probably as you would um, do it a bit more later um, you, you, you'd be okay with that uh, so yes I was really surprised when I saw the Ford chassis for Swift um, but um, part of a conversation there, and it turned it turns out that uh, this is not the only um, manufacturer that Swift are in negotiation with. Um, a German manufacturer, um, so it's not Audi. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's probably the first um, time that you'll have seen the uh, 500 series on the Ford chassis. Um, I'll try and get um, down on Tuesday to Camper UK, whose vehicle it was. This was filmed at the Lincolnshire Motorhome Show. Um, and yeah, it, it was absolutely heaving. Um, there were people that we got there about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, obviously, we've been queuing to, to get in, and uh, they'd sold five motorhomes in half an hour. So, yeah, it's still going. So, if you uh, like this, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, it's free. There's not much free, not these days. And hit the old bell icon for notifications for our vlogs. And all it needs to say is TTFM. We'll see you soon.